All right, let's talk about the sum of a geometric progression. The sum of n terms, or the sum of the first n terms of a GP. What does the formula say? The sum of n terms of a GP, or the sum of the first n term of a geometric progression, is given by the formula. That says S sub n is equal to A, which is the first term, all in brackets, 1 minus arrow to the power of n, close the bracket, divided by 1 minus arrow. I want to deduce another formula from this. Now, I can actually factorize minus 1 out from both the numerator and the denominator. If I bring out minus 1, it will be minus a, all in brackets. Arrow to the power of n here, it is negative here, it becomes positive, okay? I have arrow to the power of n. 1 here is positive. If I bring minus out, it becomes negative. The same thing I will do for the denominator. Bring out minus 1. I have minus arrow here, it becomes plus arrow. I have plus 1 here, it becomes minus, arrow, minus 1. So that minus 1 times arrow n is minus arrow n. Minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1. Minus 1 times arrow, minus arrow. Minus 1 times minus 1, plus 1. When the two minuses cancel, what do we have now? We have s sub n is equal to a times arrow to the power of n minus 1, all over what? Arrow minus 1. So this formula now, I want to call this formula 1, and I want to call this formula 2. The two formulas will work to calculate for the sum of n terms of a GP, but there is a specification. We use this formula 1 when the common ratio is less than 1. That is when 1 is bigger than the common ratio. And we use this one when the common ratio is greater than 1. That's all. So we will now go ahead and apply these two formulas to solve problems. I want to find the sum of the first seven terms of the series. Okay? This is the series 3, 6, 12, 24, till infinity. What is the first term? 3. What is the common ratio? 6 divided by 3, 2. 12 divided by 6, 2. 24 divided by 12, 2. Arrow is equal to 2. Okay, what will be n? The question says the sum of the first 7. So n is 7. So which of those formulas can we now use to solve this problem? Arrow is equal to 2. Is 2 greater than 1 or less than 1? Of course, 2 is greater than 1. For so, arrow greater than 1, we are going to make use of this second formula, okay? This is the formula that will work for it. Now, let's use it. We are looking for S sub 7, which is the sum of the first 7 terms. What's A? A is equal to 3. What's arrow? 2. What's N? 7. Minus 1. All over 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1. Okay? So what we have, 2 minus 1 is actually 1. So we have 3 all in brackets. 2 to the power of 7 is 128 and minus 1. Okay, 128 minus 1 is 127. So we have 3 times 127. And so 3 times 127 will give us 381. So as far as this sequence is concerned, the sum of the first seven terms is 381. Let's see the last question. Now, for this very question, we have to find the sum of the first seven terms of this sequence. The first term is 3, the second term is 1, the third term is 1 third. A is equal to 3. The common ratio is second term divided by first term. 1 is the second term divided by the first term, 3. Oh, 1 over 3. Good. Check again. Third term divided by first term is still 1 over 3. What will be n? 
they said sum of first seven. So n is equal to what? Seven. Which of those formulas are we going to use right now? Arrow is equal to one third. One over three. Is it greater than one or less than one? Of course, one third is actually less than one. So we will use the formula that says for arrow less than one, S sub n is equal to A bracket 1 minus arrow to the power of n divided by 1 minus arrow. We're looking for S sub 7. A is what? 3. 1 minus arrow is 1 third, 1 over 3. Be very careful when handling GP. n is what? 7. Then divided by 1 minus 1 third. 1 minus 1 third. Good. So let's simplify. This is 3 in bracket. 1 minus, this is 1 to the power of 7 divided by 3 to the power of 7. Okay. 1 to the power of 7 is 1. 3 to the power of 7 is 2187. Okay all over this denominator let's simplify it three times one is three three minus one all over three i'm using an alternative to lcm three times one three minus that one all over what three so right now i have a compound fraction so i must be very careful when simplifying the fraction so i don't make mistakes s sub seven is equal to three all in brackets let me simplify this numerator. 2187 times 1 is 2187 minus 1 all over what? 2187. Okay. Then divided by 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 all over 3. Good. So, like I said earlier, you must be very, very careful. This is 3 times 2187 minus 1 is 2186. All right. All of our words. Just see what I'm doing. 2187. This is divided by 2 all over 3. Okay. So I can now write this as divided by 2 all over 3. I'm not wrong. I'm correct. So S sub 7 is equal to, we have 3 times 2186 all over what? 2187. This division turns to multiplication. 3 goes up and 2 comes down. All right, let's see what we cancel here. Okay, 3 here is 1. 3 here is 729. Check again. 3 here is 1. 3 here is 243, all right, 243, good. Now, 2 here is 1, 2 here is 1093, okay? So what we have now says 1093 times 1, which is 1093 divided by 243 times 1, which is 243. So we can actually reduce this to a missed fraction. This is an improper fraction. 1093 divided by 243, it will only go four times. With a remainder of 121, then all over 243. And this gives us the sum of the first seven terms of that sequence that we are given. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe and like and share the video to your friends and your classmates. I will see you in the next one.